Hello everyone and welcome back to another Anyone Can Code video. I'm in Beijing right now as I've been invited to speak here. So guess where I am? Anyways, it's great to be here in Beijing and I've been enjoying it so far. And I'm really lucky to have been invited here to speak. Anyways, this is the, the app that we're gonna make. So a few months ago, I made an app for WWDC, which was this countdown clock uh, to the keynote. And a few people asked how I made it. So this time around, as you can see, we're making this app and I've made a few modifications to what we're making. Anyways, without further ado, let's get started. All right, so I've already gone ahead and I've created a Xcode project and I chose the AR template under the iOS tab. And so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to drag in all the files and I'm going to drag in the, the font, which is a TTF file. And this is a font that we're going to use for our, for, to tell the time. So I'm just going to add it add our file to the AR clock target by clicking on the check box. And, and there we go. So we, we, have a, we have a TTF file now and I'm gonna go back and I'm going to drag in the, the DAE file, which is a duck. There we go, now we have our DAE file, which is the duck. And next is the the, a PNG file, which is this, um, it, it's for the image tracking. So because we're tracking an image, we need to know, we need to, um, put in the, the, the image that we're going to, that we're going to detect. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh, create a new AR resource group inside the assets.exe assets. And then after that, I just grab my PNG file, which is the, the tr image that we're going to track. Uh, I'm going to just drag, the, I'm just going to drag myself down here. And, and also now what, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, change this unit to, or we're going to set the size of what of the image that we're going to track because we need Xcode to know oh how big this is like maybe it's a poster or or just how big it is and well I'm going to use an Apple Watch so it's so it's going to it's around like three centimeters so uh, wide so so what I'm just going to do is type in three centimeters in the width and automatically it fills in the height. Uh, by guessing, you know, the ratio and all that. So the final thing that we're going to drag in is the particles. So these are the particles for that spray out uh, from the from the duck's head. And and as you can see, let me just open this up. It's a sprite sheet with different emojis on it. And uh, and by using particles, I can I'm going to uh, use this, I'm going to use a certain technique to randomize the particles and uh, use and use the different emojis. There we go, we have all the emojis up here. And so now we've dragged in all the files. So I'm just going to get started with, uh, with all the, with the layout of what we're going to create. So I'm just going to delete this ship dot this ship uh, file and also this texture for the ship because we don't need uh, we don't need it. Now I'm going to just rename this SCN file to scene.scn. So what I'm going to do first is create a I'm going to create a new I'm going to create a new uh, a new like empty node for for uh, as a container for uh, to put in all our stuff. So I'm just gonna I'm just going to name this container. And next up is our duck. So so I'm just going to uh, I'm just going to drag in this drag drag in the the duck. And I'm just gonna put it in the container. 
and as you can see it's really really big so I'm going to I'm going to uh, change rotation so it's oriented correctly there we go and I'm going to uh, scale it down to 0 0.046 so I've done a few uh, measurements already so uh, I found out that 0 0.046 by 0 0.046 by 0 0.046 really is, uh, is a nice amount. Alright, and also I'm just going to go and check, make sure that the unit for our for our image that we're going to track is correct. Because um, a problem, or a typical mistake is uh, the, the unit is incorrect, so... By default, it's meters, so I'm changing it to centimeters or uh, whatever you want to do, depending on which system you like and what measurement you're going to use. And all right, so now we have this uh, duck in here. I'm going to add in a some text which will tell the time. So if I just drag this in, just simply drag this in. And I'm going to set the position to zero, zero, zero. And let me drag this inside the container. And I'm just going to call this a uh, time text. And, and so what we're going to do is I'm going to scale this down by a lot. Uh, but before we do that, I'm going to just type in some, uh, some placeholder text, which is, uh, I've, some time so maybe it's like oh it's 1229 so 1229 and then zero seconds and yeah it's quite big right now so i'm going to change this uh i'm going to change the size to uh 64 so we can get basically if i scale this down a lot or if i change the font size it's going to uh reduce the 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 quality of the uh, geometries and all that. So I'm going to set it to a uh, to something really big. Uh, but also, I'm going to add the font to the text, or I'm going to apply it. But before that, we also have to uh, add a custom, or because it's a custom font, I have to uh, add, I'm going to have to go and do Fonts provided. I'm going to add fonts provided by application to our info.p list, and so it just it's just so um it's just so Xcode or the app knows that hey this is a this is a font that we're going to use in the app. So let me just uh, so I'm gonna copy and paste the whole the whole uh file name, and remember to add the TTF um, extension to the end. And then once we've added that in, we can go ahead and go to our text, uh, or go to our text. And if you're stuck on where the on finding where the text is, remember it's the fence part here. As you can see, as you can see, it's selected. But anyways, so I'm going to type in the hello Denver display regular, which is the font that I'm going to use. And as you can see, now it's changed the font. And I'm going to set the scale to 0 0.001, which is tiny, but it's it's gonna suit us, which is nice. Well, it's gonna be small enough uh, so we can actually see it. And it's not like this giant like wall of text that we have to you know, move our iPad out and walk back and walk back. So it, it's just, I'm just making it smaller just so it's easier to see. And actually, I just realized the, the duck is facing the wrong way. So the, so for the container, as you can see, there's this blue arrow here. Uh, so this is the angle that, or this is where it's pointing towards. So let's say uh, this is pointing towards you and you want the duck to face towards you. So you just have to align the duck with a blue, with a blue arrow here. 
But remember that you have to uh, select a container because currently this arrow here for the duck is pointing up and we don't want it to face upwards, right? So, or downwards. Anyways, uh, I'm going to just align the text and I'm just going to move this back. So if I just adjust this here, just so it, just so when we see, when we see the text, it's aligned the center. Just gonna try and make it the best I, the best I can make it. And also the duck, I'm just going to drag this upwards. I'm just gonna drag it back a little, not too far back though. And yeah, I think that's, I think that's good. And, and also for the text, uh, the depth, I'm just going to make it, what, free. And I'm going to set the, the diffuse of the, uh, to like a dark green and also set some, oh, I also have to make this thong. Uh, and the emission has to be, um, where is it? Uh, the same color. Or I'm just gonna make it emit uh, some light so it glows, which is a nice effect. And, oh, okay, so I'm gonna add some lighting so it looks kind of realistic. And currently the duck um, has a flat shading or or how it's uh, how it's made is flat. So, all right, time to add some lighting. So, I'm going to add some ambient, ambient lights, and also some directional, uh, a directional light, which is always nice to have. And I'm going to rotate this, or I'm going to rotate the this um this directional light, so, uh, so it's facing the right way, or facing the way I want it to face, so, um, let's see, it's kind of hard to grab the handles, but, okay, there we go, all good, so, um, next thing is we just have to adjust the the intensity, so I'm going to make this 3000 and this 600. And I'm just going to make the colors white, and there we go. So that's good. Uh, also, I need to add a box, which is this. Uh, I'm going to add a box here. And I'm going to set the scale. So this box um, is for particles, so the particles can bounce off of it. And and I'm going to set the scale to like 0 0.12, and then hmm, 0 0.04 and 0 0.16. And by the way, if you're confused about what I'm doing right now, this is for so I'm matching the the size of the uh, Apple Watch, uh, or I'm just scaling it so it fits the Apple Watch, uh, because I want to kind of make it realistic so it, the particles can bounce off the Apple Watch. And I'm going to also move this down by a bit, just so, just move it down so, just so it looks. Uh, just so it kind of fits the Apple Watch, and also I'm going to make this transparent, so so you can't see it. But uh, to make it easier to see, actually I'm going to put me down here. Okay, there we go. So in, I'm I'm now back down here, but also uh, let's let's just uh, change the background here, just so it's black. Just make it easier to see uh, the particles and everything else. Anyways, uh, I'm also going to make sure bounding box is on, so you can actually see the transparent box. So, I mean, we don't need to add any physics because uh, we're going to make the the particles collide with the box in in the programmatically. And 
All right, so next is the particles. So I'm going to add some particles here. And I mean, I'm going to tweak around with the, I'm just gonna tweak all the, the particles and all that. So um, you can you can tweak all these uh, numbers here just to make it suit what you want to do. So um, I'm just gonna speed up time right now. So just see you in, I'm gonna see you in a few, in a few seconds. So I've already um, created the particles now and I'm just going to go over a few things or the emojis are randomized. All right. So, so re the, how, how I was able to randomize emojis was, um, was this, was this, uh, I, I used this technique. Um, so let me just go ahead and look at the, go to the particles. As you can see, it's a it's a uh, tile sheet, so it's like just a bunch of uh, it's like a sprite sheet, I guess. So you have a bunch of different tiles with different emojis in those tiles, and and look at how there is um three rows and five columns. So if you go back to the scene, then and then go to the particles. You can see that I've set the image to the particles, but but if I just left out that, you would see all the emojis in one particle. So what I did was I I did this. Uh, I used the image sequence um, to help me, and usually image sequences is for is to um, usually you would use it if you want to use a set of um, so set of images to make this kind of like a um, image animation, but but what I did is I set the initial frame to well I said to zero right, but but this here is a delta which is like how much you want it to vary, so I'm varying it by fifteen as three times five is fifteen, so there are fifteen emojis in the sprite sheet. But also the frame rate, I set that to zero just so you don't scroll through all the emojis. If you want to, you know, make it so the emojis change, yeah, you can go ahead and do a frame rate. But uh, I, I wanted to be, ra I wanted it to be random and just for it to not change at all. Anyways, so now we've got that. I'm just gonna go over to the bottom this uh, this play bar thing and press the play button. And as you can see, we have um, a bunch of uh, emojis shooting out of duck's head. Duck's head, yeah, I guess. Um, but and it seems like I think I think we're good to go uh, for this. So or I think this is all good, and I don't think we really need to do anything else. So I'm gonna select the container and go over to this box, um, the box tab, and I'm going to. Uh, hide the container so we just so it's hidden at the start. That's it for part one. We've already set up the scene, so in the next and final part, we'll do all the coding. So, see you!